season four. Killing machine this bomba clad from one bomba clad column. Yeah. I get that feeling in my stomach like I'm feeling for a come up Like a pregnant woman eating for our unborn son or daughter Serial killer with a splash of cold milk These men are built by weight, lactic acid, home skills For the massive more meals, for the gastric hole still Listen, we may clash but the titans don't chill This is food for four, food for you all We ain't the news, just a crew with the tools for the sport Fast food You are now listening to the Fast Food Podcast. Look, look at this guy. The best one. <laughs> the Fast Food Podcast. Season four. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Mm. What are you saying? What are you saying, fam? <laughs> I gotta relax. I gotta relax. I gotta relax. Apologies, sir. Ah. Uh, shout out, Jamie. Shout out to Jamie. I feel you. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> the Fast Food uh, Podcast. I don't want to say too much yet, you know. I don't. Let's say something. I need to. Ah. Uh, it's all about good energy this year. All about good energy. High vibration. Mmm. Brush your shoulders off. <laughs> Ah, oh, this tune, you know. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Uh, I don't even know what he's saying, but I know it's good. I know. Uh, 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 listen, take me there. Just take me there. Whatever he's saying, it sounds good. Ah. Uh. Put it in the fast food. Yes, 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 yes. Well, man got their juice. Man got their juices. Join us in creating an event. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man's got COVID under yeah. Listen. This mm-hmm. is a fast food podcast. Season four, episode one. I go by the name of Morgan Heights, and I'm here with two of my favorite, favorite illustrious co-hosts. Trim Trimmer, who's got the keys to my bimmer. Yep. And Drizzy Saka Fe. Freckles in the building. That's what I heard. I got, I, I, I'm, it feels so good to be here. For those who don't know, we're here every fortnight to bring you the hot and spiciness. For, the, for you, whoever you don't use, if you don't use salt and pepper, if, just, you, got, if you don't use paprika, it's a problem. If you don't... Hang tight, my soul food gang. This is food for thought. This is your fast food podcast. And listen, we're back. Hang tight, Trebler in the building. Ah, oh, mate. Good to see you, my brother. It's really good to see you. Before we get this whole thing kicked off, all the audio is available on iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And about uh, two to three days after the audio is released, you can watch the whole episode plus snippets on youtube so make sure that you subscribe to our channel fast food podcast make sure you subscribe to itunes fast food podcast spotify the same thing soundcloud the same thing and uh let's go that's my people man how is my people we are back man this is this is this is incredible this is uh 
this is a weird time but we're not really gonna we're not gonna really gonna dwell on it i just like to say thank you for those who've supported us from the beginning and to those who reached out to me on several occasions asking when we're going to be back asking when the show is going to get back on the road and um we appreciate you we're here we're here we're not going to let um anything stop our move and uh yeah how, how's how, how you how you lot been like i mean i just want to do a quick recap just to ask you guys how you've coped over the last i'd say nine to twelve months trim trimmer it's been uh, it's been a mixed bag of tricks for me personally tricks are for kids yeah so uh yeah well i'm a big kid in it so uh, you see me that ain't nothing yeah man but um yeah real 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 talk it's been um when it all started boy i was i was good and i was like yeah yep it'll pass this ain't nothing rare, rare, rare. yep and then as it went on to maybe i think i've started finding things a bit sticky from the first lockdown first lockdown mm-hmm. towards uh how long did it last for? March started in March, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. March to like March two thousand and nineteen. August. Yeah, no, it wasn't two thousand nineteen. Twenty twenty. Yeah. And when it got to about yeah. just coming to the end, just coming to the end. Cause, uh, Trimmer, could you ask Drizzy why we why he's got his mouth co- covered, bro? I'm not sure, man. That's a like a. He's really pa- patriotic, so you know that. Like, oh, he's got sorry, a, sorry, a, sorry. My bad. Um. I think it's fair to say, and Trim, I'm gonna let you finish. But since you asked me the question, we all rep- we're, it's fair to say we as individuals represent we're a representation of our football clubs, right? Is that fair to say? Set up. Yeah, okay. So basically, like <laughs> I don't know what's going on at Anfield and with Liverpool, but wherever that's spreading over there, I don't want it to spread to me because I'm representing Manchester United. Yeah. That's why I just wear my mask yeah. just to make sure, like you know what I mean. But sorry, as you carry on, as you were. That's all right. So you you was talking about last year when the yeah started. yeah, yeah. And, it, and um I was all right. I was doing well because obviously work wasn't affected. As work much. you didn't stop working, Trim. Didn't stop working. Okay, cool. Um, spent some time on the boat working from home. Yep. But there was no real impact as such with employment or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um then things just got a bit on top for me, and I felt like I hit a brick wall. Yeah. You think that's what everybody went through? I'm not sure. Some people experienced it way before me, mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, come on, be positive. Yeah, da, 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 da. but um, yeah, I felt like I hit a brick wall. It was a bit much for me. Yeah, so I was, I wasn't, I wasn't coping, and um, I genuinely had to go and get counselling, bro. That's real. I went and got, got myself some counselling. So, so okay, so okay, yeah. so yeah, you that that help? It was amazing. Bro. Yeah, it really did because obviously. With with counselling, even though, well, when I say counselling, it wasn't that type of counselling where it's like, well, how do you feel? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How did that make you? So, you know, they give you a topic, you speak yeah. about it, and then they ask you, how does it make you feel? Yeah. This was more like a cognitive behavioural training kind of thing I like on that the level. Way, I like the way that we're not afraid of speaking about things like this. No, and, I, and I think it's important that people understand that. If you need therapy, just get some therapy. Get some therapy. Don't get be afraid. Uh, don't, I don't want to. This is not something I want to deep from, dive into. Not too but tough. I, but I, 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 one, I would admire. I, I do admire you for that trim. Appreciate and it, two, it's again, it's even if like I feel like, oh, <laughs> my wife might beg to differ, but I don't feel like there's anything wrong with me in my mental state in terms of balance. But I do find. I've struggled in periods of time where maybe if I had some therapy, I would have been able to, you know, exercise it the right way and get through it in the best way possible. So all I would like to say on that is, listen, don't be afraid of going and seeing somebody about your scruples. It's not a problem. There's no shame in the game. It actually is good for you. If you think about it, to exercise your body helps your lungs, your heart and your system function properly. But why so why would you why wouldn't you exercise your brain exactly which is what actually helps everything else exactly so yeah like i was saying um yeah i went and i did that and it was more on the cognitive side, yeah behavioral side and it was more about the tools that i use and finding out what i do on a regular basis looking at my behaviors what they are yeah and using them in a positive way as oh, opposed excellent. to 
um, being so much in like the psychological, like you know, like what we do is we kind of when things aren't going too well, we fixate on the psychological. You know, like we waste too much time thinking about yeah, stuff, yeah, of course, as opposed to just being in the moment. It's, I think I, I believe appreciate I believe that your thoughts become things. I believe that if you think about things enough, you can almost encourage it into your life. And I say that all the time. Like I'm a person. And it's funny, like, it's weird. We do that. Uh, let's not talk about COVID, but we are talking about COVID because COVID is affecting everything that was going on right now. Um, but what I would say is, is, as I said, you invite things in, into your life. If you keep, if you make that your main focus, you, you actually encourage it. And I believe these times we'll get through it. But I think everybody's obviously had to adapt to a new way of life for the time being. And, you know, it's it's good that we're still here fighting and the, and the energy is still nice and it's good to see you, man. Like, I'm actually, I was actually actually excited about today because it, it's, it's, it's been a while since we've done a podcast, one. And two, I don't really see that much people. <laughs> so it's like, you, you now you lot are my honorary bubble. This is a bubble. I just, I feel like this is nice energy. Very good it's, we're not only doing a podcast we're um we're oh, linking up as friends yeah, yeah, and having yeah. a little chat do you know what i mean and we've got some exciting things to talk about over the period of this season four people so don't get it twisted um i want to actually first of all thank the fans who've supported us i want to thank the people actually being getting involved in the conversations on our facebook and instagram make sure that obviously you subscribe to those um at fast food podcast but it's been the energy been, energy's been nice People are still waiting for this thing, so I don't know. Boy, I just link up, link up the man them and chat shit. So you get me. Let's see, let's see where it goes. I mean, um, I I can only speak for myself in the situation is where now I'm here, and I'm not really focusing on past. I'm f- focusing about going forward. And yeah, if this so. period if this period of time hasn't helped you with deciding what you're gonna do with the next chapter of your life, I, I can't help you. So, so yeah, basically like. Just doing the, just doing that, <laughs> you know. You gotta go back into that, and it's just like, wow! I couldn't believe I was going through what I was going through. Yeah, I got through the other side of it. Good. I got, my, I got a lot of help, and um, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like a burden or anything like that. Yeah, I just took it because as you get older, you're like, I need help. So if I need it, let me get that. Good. So I got the help. Everything was wicked, and then within the space of maybe two to three weeks, I felt like I'd hit a brick wall. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I felt like I was on, I was on the highway. Yeah. And everything was nice and Good. I was on track. It wasn't, it didn't feel like, oh, back to normal. Yeah. yeah. It felt like, right, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cruising now. Cruising. As opposed to just. I like that cruising. Cruising, bro, there's nothing like it and it hasn't really changed. Good. That feeling hasn't changed and I'm using those tools that I learned to apply it to my life on a, everyday basis good good drizzy you know, how you yeah. drizzy, how you been how you been bro like yeah, how you been, like, like a you, know, you look like since we've seen you the last time you've grown a beard and i'd just like to get the i questioned i'd, I'd whether like to get the background hair, on that i questioned whether his hair could grow <laughs> but it's i can't I should, do anything i didn't know did you so, think did you uh, did you honestly think that maybe yeah once he heard that he couldn't grow any facial hair he, he decided to grow some you know the ones. He didn't you know the some. You know the man there that go home and go. I'm gonna prove this. So I'm gonna prove to the man that I can grow a beard. You have certainly grown one, Drizzy Freckles. <laughs> you, He's grown more than a beard. Yeah, yeah, man. You Don't look, it hurt, bro? Yeah, bro. Let's do Wusa, bro. You look like one of them. Uh, Vikings. First of all, um, Drizzy Freckles. 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 Welcome everybody. Welcome. Um, first of all, yeah. beards are overrated. I'm gonna just put that out there right now. <laughs> Why you still got one? Because. It seems like the women like it, man. I'ma just be honest. Mm-hmm. Well, it's only us free talking, right? No one else is, and, and Treble is here for. No one else is there. So it seems the chicks are dinging it, man. Me, I like my baby face, bro. I used to get with a lot of things when I had my clean shaven face, but chicks seem to be dinging it. It's, it's you this, uh, get away with <laughs> bro. People's like, oh, how? Out top, bro. bro, come on, man. When I had my clean baby face, yeah. Yeah. I was out here looking like a baby face assassin, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you gotta relax. He's looking bro. like a social. 
<laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want to take it there, <laughs> sweet. Um, <laughs> no, nah, bro, I just thought I'd grow it. You know, what it is I. I was so. Here's the thing: the last time we saw each other, yeah. we did the Christmas app, uh-huh. and then we was like, we're gonna take. The Christmas holidays off, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. It, it was a long one. It was a long one. It was, one. It was a long one. All right, <laughs> pause. <laughs> yeah, right. And then I went. I went back home for carnival season and to see my pops and all that. And I was just like, you know what? Yeah, let me just. Sleep. I had a little something, something growing. Mm. I had like a. Uh, who can I say, man? I don't know. I'm trying to think of someone who's got that type of bit. But anyways, it was light. It was not it was crazy. People was like, raw. Look at you, your little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I came back to the madness. Uh-huh. People running around, killing each other, suplexing oh, each other for toilet roll. Shit. But there's best spices on the rack, but they're buying all the meat and all the multivitamins is in the aisle, but they're buying all the meat and they're getting tissue paper. I just thought, you know, wh- where am I wipes. going? I got wipes. I hear that, man. Anyway. You know some people use kitchen towels to wipe their backside ah, after a while. You, know what I mean? you use kitchen towel to wipe your backside when there's nothing left. Left. It's a fact, but do you know when you, think you of, when you think about it, yeah, you should do. <laughs> right. Do you do, do you, when you need to you go to get tissue from another room? Do you not pull up your pants? <laughs> Do or just, do you just or do you shuffle, levitate? Do you shuffle through the house with it on your ankles? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> moving like a penguin. <laughs> nah, you, <laughs> for some reason, bro, I get up and I go fuck it, and I shuffle through. I shuffle through the room, and then I. Why get, don't you just take your pants off? <laughs> because I don't want. Because I've still got doo doo <laughs> on my bottom, so it's like I don't want. <laughs> I'm scared of pulling up my pants and it just making a mess. Yeah. So I just thought I'm not going out. I'm. <laughs> Just move on from that quickly. Uh, so yeah, so I was like, I'm not going out anywhere. So I just let the t- I just let the thing grow, bro. Yeah, I let it grow, well and then a couple of chicks saw it on the yeah, IG lives. It's like, oh, hello. Yeah. And an old, uh, elderly woman, like about a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. How, she old, looks, how old? How elderly? Well, after the compliment she gave me, I did a double take, and I was like, if you shaved off like 15 to 20 years, I'd hit you on the Jerusalem. <laughs> but um. She was like, oh man, you Gaza Strip. We're going to get to people. We're going to get to people who like taking people to Gaza, Gaza. Strip. Yeah. 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 Okay. I've had a KFC strip. So I was like, cool. And then, um, like, yeah, she's like, oh, I like your beard. And she said, because there's a little bit of, there's a, there's a tint of red in there. The ginger in me is yeah. coming out. Pause. I was like, all right, cool. Thank you. Mm, I, yeah, I took that compliment. You. you know what I mean? It suits you, bro. I think it looks, it, 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 you look well with it. I'm and giving it a year and then it's going to come off, bro. Yeah, man, just fuck with it, man. Then it, 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 you might not want to. Nah, I will. It's already, I, I've already, yeah. It's, it's 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 a wrap. It's a wrap. After a year, I'm I'm taking it off, bro. Unless something dramatic happens. Right. That yeah. is a lot of growth. I yeah, know. Man. That's what she said. No. But anyway, um, yeah, that's well done. That yeah, good. <laughs> I that's mean, good. slinging and slinging and dingling. But yeah, um, but so no, no one's been cool. anywhere other than that. I haven't. Have you? When did? When did last time you this, went abroad? Because this motherfucker likes going. Oh, <laughs> he loves traveling. He must actually. When you think about it, let's talk about it quickly because oh, uh, no. we, we have a show. But I'm still catching up with you boys. This brother likes going places. I am surprised he hasn't lost his mind yet. Maybe growing his beard is compensating for him not yeah. being able to go on holiday. Because this guy is in and out of the country regular. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I was questioning his annual leave because I was like... <laughs> hmm. I hear that. <laughs> brother, I had no sick days for 2020. Imagine that. Two years in a row, I've had no sick days. 2019 to 2020, that's, I've had no sick days. That's so, what, so what has that got to do with your annual leave? Well, here's the thing. I thought it would do, but it didn't. But anyway, um, bruv, I'm at the stage now where I'm so not eager. I'm at a Tyrone Biggums from the Chappelle show, desperate oh. to to go somewhere hot, bruv. I'm yeah. happy to let a uh, 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 mos- I'm happy to let mosquitoes tap dance all over my body, bro, yeah. and not care. That's how eager I am to, to anywhere they want to go, bro. Yeah, 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 anywhere yeah. they want to go, yeah, just bro. do it. Adopt out. Yeah, what, oh, mosquitoes on your nuts. Yeah, that's a lot. Nah, I don't. Sucking the blood out yeah. of your nuts. Yeah, I don't. Care. That's I cold. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone's going. Everyone's going Dubai to the point now. Dubai yeah, looks like going South London, bro. Why is everyone going Dubai? Because of the res- there's no restrictions yeah. and stuff. That's why. Yeah, but mm-hmm. maybe I don't know. Maybe people leveled, leveled up and thought that they could. They got a little. They Bruh, got but there's some up. people who've gone Dubai and they haven't even gone back to the country of their parents' origin, bro. Let that sink in. 
That's, that's you see crazy. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Like you, I'm going, I think I'm going to be. I think I am going to Jamaica this year. I think I. Am. I respect that. I think yeah, I'm going to go Jamaica. How are you going to be able to go to Jamaica when? Bro, as soon as they let me out, bro. Yeah, but when are they going to let us out? Look at what's happened, bro. Let's please. Let's not. Has talk. there not um, been an extension on the um, lockdown thing today? <sighs> I think they did it just so we could talk about it on the show. I don't want to talk about that yet. Yeah. Okay. No. Don't feel I don't want to talk about it ever. Um. In in between time, the meantime, in between time, it's about that time. Uh, we're well, still here. Been high. Been high. Uh, bro, I'm still here, bro. Like I'm just still here. Like I'm just. Are you still? I exist. Ranks? Are you still furlough ranks? Yeah, they call me furlough ranking, bro. Yo, shout out to Copology, the gang, Blue, G Force, my G, Anti Rebel, my G. I'll big him up. Anti Itch. Itch, I'm waiting for Itch is going to do as a little drop, so I'm waiting for that. Still, yeah. so shout out to my boy Itch, Trim Grizz, obviously well, Grizz, 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 Captain Meltdown. Oh mate, we call him Captain Meltdown in the group. Obviously, I don't want to get into it, but my team ain't yeah. doing too well. But what yeah, what are we talking about though? Copology group. Liverpool group. Copology. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's called Copology. Yeah, We're not, yeah but I, I, I it, mosquito yeah. Manx or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even getting involved. I'm not getting involved. It's gonna be true. Yeah. All right. So listen, we're gonna keep, we're gonna push this thing forward because we've got a lot to talk about. We're yeah. back on the. We're back, and yeah, man, we're gonna put the the the, uh, the vibes out. Um, one thing I wanted to do this season, and we discussed it, boys, is um, is to kind of be more um, in tune with what's going on in the world. At the same time, when we was doing the podcast before, it was a lot of pop culture stuff. But I felt like we, we just needed to deal with certain topics. Hold on. Look at number 10, trending. Fanny. What's, why is that trending? Where is it? From America or the UK? This is the UK. Fanny? Oh, Look, okay, London. That's different. Tre- Look, yeah. Why is it trending? Number 10. Fanny. What's Fanny? Check it out. The Fast okay. Food Podcast. Go on. Sorry. I had to, to, you do to, that to and then I'll you. do this. <laughs> While you do that, I'll check out Fanny. All right, cool. Yeah, so, as yes. you were, as you were. So yeah, no, um, bro, you look, bro, why are you look? I was, I was in the middle of a vibe. Yeah, no apologies, man. Oh but funny, well, it's a big deal. I was talking about my, I was talking about my mental state. I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to build a vibe. Yeah, that's where I was. Thanks for your help, guys. Um, we wanted to uh, make sure that we came this season with more important topics to talk about, and I feel like we've come up with quite a few. And I think we're going to deal with one right now. Question. I got a bonus one you got at some point. Bruv, but you, but I'll just relax. let him talk. Bruv, you, bruv, you. you gotta let Gino talk. You know, look. So. Cross, hangry, miserable. miserable. Trip, trip. You know how fast he drank that snuffle? I know. Can you, can, what, are we gonna, what am I gonna do with these brothers? Yeah. Um. Question. Yeah. And this is this we got a lot of response from this, didn't we, guys? Sure. Uh, Drizzy, 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 Drizzy. Drizzy you, 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 what did you? All right, let's ask a question. Yeah. Do you find white women who only date black men strange? Trim. He said, Drizzy, do you... Da, 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 da. So why are you trying to put he it said on to me? He said to me to ask a question, then he asked a question. So technically, he's, he's counter... He's voided the original question to me. So, so are I'm you asking me, you. is it because I is black? Uh, first of all, I want to say, yeah, that white women who are the majority in this country, do not come for us. This is, we'll explain exactly where we're coming from. I mean, come for us. I've got the energy. It's, it's the type of energy you bring when you come for us. Me, I just want the, <laughs> it's cold outside. I just want you to like hold me and like rub my beard <laughs> and rub be, my head. And if they think that we ain't coming want. full throttle this season, pause. <laughs> you must be thinking it. Yeah, me. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, man. All, all no, okay. The reason why I brought up this subject, I'll start. Go for it. Uh, so basically. Yeah, but I wanted them to answer. 20 odd years ago, 20, let's go, let's 20, 20 odd years ago, my mother moved to Peterborough. Okay. She moved from London to Peterborough. Shout out to, shout out to my people that live in Peterborough. Yeah. Um, I've had many, many experiences in there. But anyway, she moved up there and when she moved there, she said several times, I'm moving to Peter, G. Peterborough. I said, all right, cool. I'll, cool. So I went to go visit my mum in Peterborough. Mm. First of all, it's about an hour and a half from London. And they, at that point in time, I never left the ends it was just the ends right so i've gone up to peter bro mm. okay cool got off the trip got off the coach boom 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 okay cool got to my mum's house right really quiet so, okay cool okay, okay hi mom boom 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 in the house the same vibe food in the fridge bag of food 
soul food, everything was cooked up. Mama had mama had this little patterned yard. I was happy. And I started integrating with people in Peterborough. The locals. Uh, there's a lot of white people in Peterborough. Quite a lot. Uh, especially then. Mm. And it's changed. Uh, and yeah, it's changed. Bit. It's changed a lot it's, now. It's, but um, but it's, it's Peterborough. Peterborough feels like a place where people who are in London need to get out. To obviously, cost of living is cheaper. Yeah. Houses is cheaper. Plus it's not too far. Yeah, so you don't but it's like not, and it's not. Yeah, it's not a mad it. mish. Yeah. But anyway, so I started integrating. Anyway, started socializing, going out, clubbing, boom, boom, boom. So I'm talking to women, and <laughs> surprise. <laughs> when I went there, bro, 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 wouldn't you talk to women? Of course, I'm. I'm here for, bro. I'm fully supporting where this story's okay, going. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> so I talked to women and. Mm-hmm. He, he, uh, a lot of the a lot of the conversations was based on oh so you're from London and oh rare 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 and okay you, you know what I mean what do you, uh, there's not a lot of black guys up here boom 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 it, it got really really um, intimidating for a little bit because yeah. I was just like okay cool I'm from where I'm from everybody's from somewhere I mean coming from where I'm from uh, uh, where you I'm go from. down the road couple Asian man a day you go up the road couple right. African man yeah, you go yeah, down yeah. there couple you know what I mean it's yeah, yeah. London's multicultural it's, anyway yeah. I went up there and I was chatting to the women up there and a lot of women were saying oh um, I love black guys and I date I only date black guys I was oh. like okay wait so wait you only date black guys she says, yeah, no. And I don't want to out people because it's not fair. And I don't Ooh. feel like you should be on a podcast using your pr- platform to bring people down. Yeah. I think it's most impo- important just to, you know, keep it anonymous and keep it moving. Yeah. yeah. So I spoke to the girl and the girl was like. Kate. <laughs> Karen. So, so I said, no, I Sarah. said to her, so you don't date, you don't date white guys at all. She goes, no, white guys, they're boring. And just to go to the pub. I said, okay, <laughs> fair enough. So I was like, okay, so what do you like about black guys? And she was like, oh, you look cool and you don't dress well. And, then, and I was like, okay, cool. Part of me was smiling with like, okay, you feel us. Another part of me was like, you're a bit, that's a bit weird. What? So you don't, so, I was, so I'll ask the question again. Yeah. So what you don't date, and you have uh, never within you, your race. You don't date within your race. Yeah. She's like, uh, no. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. So I was thinking to myself, and then I put it out there. I put it on the Facebook wall. Popped off. Mm. First it question I off. got was, oh, what about what about black guys? Then <laughs> yeah, it's like well, their time will come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now we're focusing on you lot. Don't try and Jedi mind trick us. <laughs> Stick to the subject <laughs> and the topic. You guys. <laughs> it, I, one girl was like, I feel like I'm being attacked. Mm, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? But, what is that? So basically, what yeah. what I want to get down to, and I'm gonna ask yeah. you, I'm gonna pass it, I'm gonna yeah. pass it over to you lot. Yeah. Is there a difference between preference and fetish sizing a person? There should be. Yeah. Is a difference? There of is. course there is. Yeah. And that's where I'm coming from, where I feel like when you fetishize a particular person, it's like you're not really dealing with them as an indi- individual. Yeah. You're dealing uh. with them because of the color of their skin. Right. Because of their because they're black men, you just because they got big woods or they dance well or they're popular or you'll be protected. Or they have the big they have the dope yeah, barbecues. Yeah, you've got the weeds there. The, yeah. You know what, you know what I, mean? I mean? You know what I mean? Like like it felt it feels like sometimes White women are fetishizing us in a sense where they just you're not so, really with you're not really with me because of me. I'm black. Uh, you're you're not with me because of who I am as a person, Gino Morgan Heights. You're with me because I'm a black man, and I don't think that's right. Would you tell? What are you telling me? First and foremost, I want you to define fetishizing. Fetish, fetishize. Yeah. Why is it so hard to it's, say it's fetish? A new- Size. It's a new term. I've never heard. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Fetishize is like when you are particularly interested in somebody because of their attributes. So, color of skin, that they got nice toes, they've got the 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 whack off. So is, it's got nothing to do with fetishes. It's got yes, it is. But, but I think you, I think what I think so what doesn't that lean towards like a sexual? Kind I think of what thing? I think that 
question you're asking and the angle you're coming with or mm. coming from, mm. I think there's different levels to fetish. Like we've known, like it's been society's pushed forward the whole fetish thing to be centralized. Basically, yeah. uh, sexu- yeah. based sexually, but it could be, but it could be on another, uh, on a lower scale of just like I fetishize about waking up in the morning next to a black guy and hoping I get some fried plantain for breakfast. Someone could fetish uh, or, or or waking up in Why the morning, waking up in the morning and and finding out that you're pregnant and that you're finally gonna get your brown baby. That too. Oh <laughs> yeah, you're definitely so you broke it down. Okay. So so I feel like yeah. When I'm asking, when I'm saying is 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 it strange for white women at this time because we're talking about white women, it's like again, I can only talk from my experiences. I've I'm not with my wife. My wife is white. If you want to if you want to say it, my wife's white. She's Jewish, but she's white. Shout out to Lisa. Right. So shout out to Lisa. But I'm not with Lisa because she's mm-hmm. white. I'm no. with Lisa because I met her. Who she is. You like who she is. You love like, who she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But as, and her, yes, attributes played a part. Breast bumper and all them things. There. <laughs> but, but you get me? That Initially, it's who I met. And then, I never went, oh, rare. I'm going to go and draw Jewish girls. <laughs> I never did I that. Mean, you know I mean, I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's a good, that's a good, <laughs> comfortable, cushy set yourself up for life situation. I'm not can, mad at you for can that. Be. You know what I'm saying? I'm can not be. mad at you for that. Shout to Jay Electronica. What I'm not mad when, at you for that. What happens what happens when <laughs> they link up with uh maybe a black brother and the family's not happy yeah. and then they the P is not there again. What happens to that part? Well I'd hope that so then with the attributes of elect- dissolved. I'd hope that my elect Sizzle. my intellectual Negro brother mm. would have like saved up the P he was he getting like, that situation. Oh, yeah, I'm a Jew too. Yeah straight up because it's it's because it's an interesting conversation because i feel like as a black man there's mm. no reason why i wouldn't be with a black woman at all i could have easily been with a black woman I love me. that was not really ever a, a, a that was just never a talk it was yeah. just when when i coming up and growing up as a human being my mum was never really in in my ear about who i should date or should she just she, obviously, she was just like, bring on somebody that's going to... Somebody decent. Exactly, yeah, going to yeah. represent. No, so, what yeah. is that? Oh, mm. mate, I had several occasions you know? I brought yeah, 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 yeah. And you know when your mum gives you the, like, the, the, the eyes? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah. And this, and do you, unless, let, uh, let's go down a deeper rabbit hole with the situation as well. Shit. Do you feel like porn has a, um, a effect on it? On the way that people are fetishised? It depends on what you yeah, search kind of, uh, because that why? makes it sound so like why you, why it you, makes it sound like some people would search. <laughs> bro, that's not good, bro. Hold on, <laughs> bro. Why is Trizzy laughing like that, bro? Woo! Trim, say what you're saying, bro. I'm, I'm more interested that. in what you're saying than this guy over here. Well, <laughs> losing calories by I, laughing when I, when when way I, too like, long. Yeah, I watch porn in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> them, them, them prime pump up but what I'm saying is yeah you watch porn I like the parties <laughs> <laughs> I like the parties I like all the multiples and uh, you get what I'm saying and I like woo! and it's just caramel over there mm, caramel yeah, over yeah. there a little bit of vanilla, vanilla over there a little there. French vanilla <laughs> you get what I'm saying and I'm like Wah. and I like you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, I don't know I just um, my I don't I wouldn't search uh, I don't. If there's a I, video I that looks tr- interesting, you know what? Yeah, first yeah, of yeah, all, I think about. I what love. I say no, no, I say I'm loving this new trim. I'm, lo- oh. Trips, I'm loving this new trim. What's going on, trim? Yeah, because I got <laughs> cognitive behavioral training. <laughs> <laughs> This, bro, this when I got is... counselled, they counselled me. Oh, okay, trim, right. Trim, 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 now I'm coming out of my shell. That's coming nice. out of my shell because I used to be such a shy, yeah, yeah, man, shy, shell yeah. shock, shy Cancerian. You know me. Mm. So now you get what I'm saying. It's all different, and I'm on a different plane. Oh look, can I say no. I thought the couch has something to do with it because the couch yeah, yeah, probably yeah, reminds you of therapy session. Well, bro, right? did you get that top for the couch? Uh, yo, it look, it's the exact same shade. Uh, hey, I'm just I'm just out here trying to trying to represent <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, it's the same shade. Let me read. All right, can yeah, I read? On, a few, it, a, a few people on Facebook got in, in touch with us regarding okay, cool, the subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jade. Jade says, depends on whether they do it to fetishize, which I've spoke about, yeah, or if they just have a preference. There's a difference between a white girl 
who will only date black men to chase the BBC. You yeah. know what that is? That's not the television company no. we're talking about. Billionaire yeah. Boys Club, no? No, bro. Okay, sir. Okay. Sorry. Or to have a brown baby because they are cute and white women who see... What do you mean? Sorry, sorry. I'm not even And white women who see that. and love black men because of who he is and his essence and their attributes. They are trying to be... Trying, they're bringing the table while understanding, supporting them through the daily struggle of whitewashed society, reminding them that they are a king and strong enough to do anything they put their mind to, and checking their own friends, family, and even strangers for the derogatory bullshit that gets said, that insinuated, them, or jested. Caught him, Bennett. Okay, the scripture from the Bible. So, so there was that one, and right. then it was. JC. I'm not entirely sure how to answer this, but the truth is I think black men are just absolutely beautiful. I don't tend to view white men the same. Oh. Look at us. Would it pro- would us. it would it prevent me from dating a white guy? No, if he rocks my world and the world yeah, but how and does he, he get rocks to world? my world regardless <laughs> of his big black wall in front ethnicity. Of yeah. <laughs> and then I, I'm not Helen, shout out to Helen. I'm not reading your comment because you you're off the chain. Whoa, no, um, no, no, that's what we want. Let's no, no, Helen is off the chain, bro. She like, put it, she put it up on... Bro, this is the fast food podcast. She put it in the comment section four. for everyone this to read. This is what we do. Let's uh, go. Uh, we're off the chain. We're this off the we fucking chain. We are off the chain. Fuck. This is what we do. For fuck's sake. You say it's off the chain and then, then right, it might right, not be right, off the chain. All right, okay. There are two types of women that exclusively <laughs> only date black guys. Those with a big ass and mm. those that love a big dick. Hello. Pause. Sling. You can be both types. But you can't be neither. I don't know how you break that logic or thinking down, but it's true. All right, so where does she where does she fit into that little separation she just gave us there? Listen, I, I replied, H, hey, I'm crying. That's what I... Hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't even know where... To, I, 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 I am taken back by it. Like, um, she, Jade and her went backwards and forwards Ooh. on that actual mm. love. Mm. Okay, and it, it got kind of tetchy, and I had to kind of break up the scene. Oh, scenes. shit. Like, I was For like, real? Like, 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 like yo, don't, that. That's what I'm saying, yeah. controversy. Yeah, I was yeah. like, don't, come on, like, guys, you know. Yeah. Um, shout, out, shout out to Shea. Shea said it's weird, but when people say they only date those of certain races, if someone is attractive, they are attractive. Facts. Sammy, interesting one. Guess you can't help you are attracted to. With, we'll definitely be listening. She's going to be listening. Shout out to, yep. Yeah. Definitely. Gina, I feel that everybody or anyone who exclusively dates outside of their ethnicity has some mental unpacking to do. Shout out to my brother Teeks who just put a coffee mug in the picture. <laughs> like he my was ready Teeks. for the smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, hold on. Say, repeat that last comment where, where again. Am I going? Before Teeks one. Shout out to Teeks. <laughs> About the mental unpacking. Yeah, I feel like every I feel Unpack that me. anyone who exclusively dates outside of their ethnicity ethnicity Hello. has some mental unpacking to do. Okay, so all right. Um, let's How make- do you get to address this and not talk about and not answer the question? Ooh, How do you pick and oh, choose? Oh, what oh, you're hold, on, answer? hold on, hold on, hold on, kind of, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of be. all, first of all, yeah. First of all, let's yeah. let's rewind and come again. Man, get a little counselling and then they tell him how to like <laughs> open up the book of life and uh, speak. No, and now Drizzy, all of a sudden no. you're pointing your pictures. Drizzy, pointing that's fingers. not this trimmer for opening up. No, 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 no. Pause. We need him. No, no. We need him in this. Po- first of all, we need him in this position. We we should congratulate Pause. the brother. We, need- we should congratulate the brother <laughs> and anyone else who identifies they need a little bit of help and they yeah. go counselling. Yeah, it's like people that go to rehab. Yeah. They make rehab seem like it's a really bad thing, mm. when really people should be. Commended and bigged up for yeah, like you identify yeah, yeah, the yeah, problem. Yeah, I don't want it to be a problem. I want him. To, I don't want him to retract. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Where, you're right. Oh, but now all of a sudden he's a gunslinger. No, yeah, I need pew, pew. him in this position. Pew, pew. Okay, pause. pause. All right, cool. Um, all right, let me answer the original question. Is that, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, do I find it strange? No. Um, from my own personal experience, yeah. out of all the relationships I've had, yeah. Oh, he's really I've had above. I've had two relationships outside of my race. Right. How did you get to go? Now I was checking. Two. I was yeah. checking like how many people I've been more. in an actual relationship with. Okay. okay. And then I was like, then I broke it down into subheaders, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I then broke it down into further subheaders, and then I came to. That was to, a lot of analysis. Yeah. Um, gotcha. You know, match of the day and all that. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> and I was I didn't ever think. Like, oh man, yeah, they're white. 
Right. Like, yeah. It didn't. Uh, it didn't really plug into me. You know what I mean? Pause. I was just like, I find you attractive. Yeah. And you're cool people. Mm -hmm. And when I'm in your world, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't like make me feel any uncomfortable or anything like that. That's and right. if anyone does try to make me feel uncomfortable, yeah. you're in fr your front yeah. center to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's the difference between him and me? Absolutely. And you know what I'm saying? And the thing about, the thing I wanted to say as well is don't feel like you can't be a black man or a black woman and date your own. Don't like, I don't feel like there's... But I they do. No, but I don't feel like... like At the end of the day, I do, if man. you want to preserve your kind, yeah. if a two Jamaicans want to date Jamaicans... Yeah. We don't need more There's not a wrong with that. There's no... You want to do... If you... Because <laughs> if you... <laughs> if, it's, if, if, if you want to date within your own race and you want to stick to that, yeah. I'm not, I ain't got a problem with that. No. All I have a problem with is you wanting to be with another race because, because of, of their race yeah. and not because That's of funny. the person who they are. Yeah. And I feel I put the I put we put lost. the picture of the Kardashians up because Kardashians are the Kardashians are typically typically they date black They brothers. are they are vibranium stealing <laughs> wow. women. Wow. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, but uh, I feel you. Yeah, I mean, Shouldn't but no, so it, it was it was calm. It was <laughs> yeah. calm and, yeah. and and they were they were great relationships. I introduced them to my mum. My mum didn't batter her eyelids once. Yeah. yeah. I still speak to one of them to this day. Yeah. yeah. And like, do you know what I mean? She was cool. Um, yeah. she, she was nice. She treated me well. I treated her well. Wicked. It was all good. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Did she buy you lots of stuff? I for some reason. Sorry, you can answer it in a minute. But um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but but I what I did experience when we were younger. When we were younger, um, and I don't know whether this is me, um, like doing the whole stereotype thing, but. A lot of, well, not a lot of, but some of my friends that went out with white girls, mm -hmm. they would just buy them a bag of things. Okay. And the black girls was not buying them. I experienced that. Right, right. But um, <laughs> I experienced that. I know, I know. And, and I like the way, I, I like the route, like, I I like the route you're, you're going do. down, bro, because... Yeah. because What was that? I've had conversations with... I thought I've they had were trying to give us our... Our jewels reparations. And our bits. Yeah. <laughs> Repar like, here's your 40 acres and a mule. Wow. You can have in that. my bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, because there's that because there's that stereotype that you get with a white girl and it's and it? sex and sexually it's it's it's, it's pops it's, off. It's it's um, gonna, the, gonna, the percentages are higher. Have you seen old Patrice O'Neill's stand up where he was like, black men, the reason why we be we be going with White women, because yeah. we can stick it in their ass. <laughs> Jeez Louise, God, is that damn. a bonus? No, and, is that that's a bone. bone. That's a bone. Is that a bone. <laughs> that's a, just giving a dog a bone. But what I'm saying to you is, in conclusion, because I want to move on. I, as I said, I think there's a difference, and okay. there's no, there's no, there's, if you're attracted to a certain type, it's not a problem. I don't feel like no one should be ridiculed for liking a particular type of person yeah. or attribute in a person we always spoke about it last season everybody likes calves people like bums people like but what i'm talking about is when you fetishize yeah and you're just specifically with that person for that particular reason because of race yeah because yeah. of race yeah but so what like do what the hell you want to do in right. it. It's your life. Right. No one breathes for you. Right. No one you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so if sure. you like someone for their colour, that's fine. Like there was I was watching did you see that um did you see that video where the um the white guy was saying stuff about sorry to kind of come off the come off the yeah subject a little bit. Yeah. There's a ginger there's a ginger no disrespect, there's a ginger guy <laughs> there's a ginger, <laughs> white fella. <laughs> but Drizzy, Dr how's Drizzy a white Dr ginger no, no, white no, fella? No, no, I said he's ginger. Yeah, okay. Uh, but um, <laughs> no disrespect. But this guy, a ginger woman. Uh, yeah, and um, he was saying something about he's not listening to no no black man, and he ain't listening to no. I saw that. Pack us, he said the word packy. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Know which what? I don't rate. Mm. White so, people. Are white hold people. Hold on, hold on. So he said that, and I was like. But, and people was like, he's disgusting, he's this, he's that. And all I could think of was, I'd prefer for you to say how you feel so of that course. it's not hidden. Yeah. I respect him for being honest. Yeah. So we can punch him I in the see find him and punch him up. I don't even want to punch him up. I just know that's your stance. Great. Uh, no, I do want to punch him up. That's white fine, but nah, I don't you get angry you about shouldn't those let, You shouldn't let what someone's saying make you feel you want to physically harm them. Why? We, here's the thing. 
in the UK, Look at the ones there's this, there's this, the kind of there's this blanket umbrella feeling of like, oh, it's not as bad as it is in America. At least the what? police over here don't shoot you lot, whatever. Him. The thing is, yeah. why I respect America as a whole, yeah. Yeah. especially those lot, is they're, they're honest blatant, about it. They're blatant with it. They want to call you the N word, they'll call you the N word, yeah. and you know where you stand. Get, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know where you, you stand. Are. Whereas yeah, over yeah. here, yeah. they've got so many passive ways Systemic to do it ways, yeah. that, you know, you. they get away with it. I feel you. So if he's you. doing that, cool. I feel Please you. let us what, know what you are. But let's get back to the source. Yeah, let's get back to the source. The source is the fact of the matter. Yeah. Trim touched on it is you love who you love. Love yeah. is love, man. It's important to love who you love. Some people there's nothing adore wrong with black there's nothing people. wrong with, be, with with loving somebody who is black. That's not my problem. All white. It's not my gripe. All white. Fuck. Or, uh, bro, I've bro, I've been I've been lucky. All I can say. I don't want to. I'm, I'm not gonna go in depth to why, but I've been lucky. I've been fortunate. Because anyway, <laughs> you're a handful. Pause. But yeah, let's talk about a few other things before we keep it moving on to our next. Is it strange? Sorry, I just want to know, is it strange? What's that? Because the question was, is it strange? I don't think it's strange. No, you don't. I believe, I feel, it. I do feel it's a little strange if you exclusively only date your outside of your race. Without, yeah, without, any, without any foundation. If you've got a foundation to back out, I only exclusively date this race because... When I dated within my own race, of course, trip, no. trip, trip. If you, if you, if if you live in, Ch- if you move to China tomorrow and ten yeah. years I go link you and you with a Chinese girl, guess what? I'm not surprised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Considering there's like there's like a <laughs> billion of <laughs> Chinese you know I mean? people in but, China. But what I would be what I would be concerned about is, that is if only. if you won't and you if you're going G, have you seen the way? God, yeah, ha. Yeah, but Chinese, Chinese, already. Ch- Chinese girls, they're nice as well. Right? They are. Chinese they're stepping girls. up in the world. Like, oh, shout out to Vicky they're, Chase. They're, I have one. Yeah. Glad <laughs> to say that. Um, good. I've said oh, what I was going to... Sorry, sorry. Oh, go on, go on. No. Uh, I don't want you to fall down that slippery slope. So we're, we're going to pretend I said that and not G. Yeah. And then we'll keep moving. Just, as you were, Trim. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. But, yeah, mm-hmm. like, but what I'm saying is as far as strange goes... Like I said, I don't think it's strange. I don't think that, and I think that a lot of these things, a lot of people have um, views on stuff and it affects them mentally because of some kind of experience that they had at a younger age, possibly. Mm -hmm. And it resonated and it stuck Mm -hmm. and they stayed with it. And you already know, people don't like change. Mm -hmm. Not many people that are really have uh, experience enlightenment and this and that and go more into the spiritual side of themselves of and not realize that this is just a vessel yeah, I, I like what you're talking this is just a vessel yeah, this i like what you're talking trim you get what i'm saying yeah yeah and that and that's why for me i i am an advocate for love yeah I'm you understand really. and people don't understand that so when you start saying when you kind of um put it into a only thing yeah then that is almost like so I was trying to trend fannies, but um, but yeah. So like I said, I, I'm an advocate for love, and you should be able to love whatever you want. Man. Love is love. 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 You are now listening to the fast food podcast. Let's go into the pop culture world just for a second, and we'll talk about a few um, hot topics. One is uh, WhatsApp. You heard about WhatsApp? Ah, talk to me, man. So um, basically, some new privacy laws have been put into place, new terms and conditions mm-hmm. for um, your privacy regarding uh, messaging, videos, etc., yeah. yeah. etc. Et yeah. And you know, it's over the last month. Every, obviously, word has come out that WhatsApp are violating certain laws regarding uh, privacy. privacy. Yeah, and I, I, one thing that was weird about it is I was looking into it. And while I was looking to, into it, my brother yeah. Teeks goes, bro, have you have you used Telegram? And I was like, no, I didn't right. use Telegram. He goes, yeah. go over there because I kind of tend to do more of my business stuff over there. Right. So I've got to speak to him about it because I'm wondering if he did that because of what's going on now, which a lot of people are doing to move into Inconudian Signal. Yeah. Or was it just he just found another messaging service that he wanted to correspond with his business people on? So anyway. Do you want the facts? Yeah, we're going to get into that. Um, so those who don't know or do know, there was information that came out regarding WhatsApp um, and their privacy laws. Mm-hmm. Um, you are, are in outside of Europe, I believe you are unable to opt out of 
your data being shared amongst mm-hmm. Facebook and Instagram, which is the whole, yeah. which is one whole family. Yeah. Um, uh, Drizzy, talk to me. All right, so um, what would happen is if you sign, if you go to access your WhatsApp dish, there would be a notification that comes up on your screen to say, do you need to accept these terms and conditions, right? Mm-hmm. Um, as human beings... What, from February 8th? Right. As human beings, we don't have, we don't, no one's got time. I'm sure someone gets paid to read the terms, the terms and conditions, but as human beings, we don't care. We just keep moving. Yeah. So they was like, you need to accept these terms now or by oh. the 8th of February... It's automatically going to be accept for you. You can't use the service without accepting the terms, right? Yeah. right. So over the first three weeks of January, Signal gained. That's another version, uh, 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 a uh, rival version to WhatsApp. Signal gained seven point five million users. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, Telegram and, and counting. counting. Telegram earned twenty five million. WhatsApp was the eighth most downloaded app in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, right, it dropped down to the twenty third by the twelfth of January right. because of all of this, right? Right. Right. Signal wasn't even in the top one thousand apps in the UK. Right. January six by January 9th it's the most downloaded in the country. Right. Okay. So Nima Sw- Sweeney, who's the WhatsApp director of uh, public policy for Europe and the Middle East and Africa, she said that um, she wanted to make it clear. Make uh, they wanted to make clarifications and provide greater transparency around the company's pre-existing policies. There are no changes to our data state sharing with Facebook anywhere in the world. Sweeney says mm-hmm. she claimed that the private policy, the privacy policy, sorry, instead gave the service the right to reuse as messages and hand the information over to parent company Facebook. Right. We want to be clear that the policy update does not affect the privacy of your messages with friends or family in any way. That's what I heard. WhatsApp said in an update posted to its sites, which is being paid, which is paying to advertise on Google under searches for WhatsApp privacy policy. So it all leaps and bounds, right? So basically, what I would suggest is activate the end-to-end encryption on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is saying they're not going to share your information to Facebook. It's more targeted at businesses yeah advertising right so they're right. saying that by default every chat uh except so those make it clear users and large businesses make it clear that it's got nothing to do with privacy with or transactions videos or voice notes or anything that you send privately to or to a friend they have they still whatsapp still don't share that information they won't share that information right the inf- basically what is based on is the the information that's shared between WhatsApp and Facebook. Now, I heard, just through doing a little bit of research, is that the privacy laws are different here in the EU to outside of the EU. Because when I I was doing research on it, there's a lot of information coming from overseas, like India and America and places like that, Mm -hmm. where I'm not sure about America, but in certain places, basically, there's no... You can't opt out. Here... The laws are different. You can opt out of sharing. Now, what also the information I got was that it's the problem that we're having the the uproar in people wanting to bounce from West from from WhatsApp to other messaging sources is the metadata. So the metadata is the information like how long I spoke to you for, mm. when I made a call. Makes sense. What that mm. metadata yeah. that is the information that the authority and the government get hold of. Yeah, they still get hold of that. Yeah, but what it is with backing up when they back up that information is not encrypted. So everything, everything on WhatsApp end to end is encry- is encrypted. Yeah, metadata is what they will the, a government can access if they need to find your ass that's why when i'm like when people go oh i don't want to be on whatsapp but you're still on facebook and you're still on instagram that's Whoa, just, it's covering funny. your face is not going to stop them holding, it's a funny holding thing. your ass so whatsapp they obviously know they dropped the ball in regards to how they presented the whole t's and c's update right yeah. so from instead Huge. of being february the 8th they pushed it back to may 15th that's really a very big jump back really right? But so I think that's to do two things. Shit. Obviously, of course, of course, dropping the ball, and obviously they're paying attention to the telegrams and the signals of the world, yep. just shooting up in regards to users, yep. right? Now, what you really, if we're gonna really break it down to the simplest form possible, Facebook Messenger is 
far more dangerous right now mm -hmm. than WhatsApp. Because right. here's why. Facebook Messenger yeah. has a feature where Facebook admit to scanning messages on Messenger. Right. So they us three are communicating with each other. Yeah. Myself and Trim are talking about going on holiday, this, that, and the third. You and Trim are talking about taking your woods out once you get to fucking Hawaii. Okay, that's not where I was going. Was that is that where you was going, Trim? No, nah, not at all. But okay, fair enough. Um, all right, we're having we're having a, a, a blacked porn hub party in that case. If woods are coming out, whatever. And I'll speak to 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 to, to my guy over there about flipping, you know, anything but that. Right, this guy's a twisted mind over there. Facebook can scan those messages. So as soon as you go onto your Facebook profile right. in your news feed, uh -huh. there will be stuff about parties in Hawaii. Right. Flights to Hawaii. Yep. Twisted minds. Right. Therapy. All those things. Fetish that Fetish 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 that's the name of that's the name of the podcast. Fetish Fetish the name of the, it's the name of the episode. Yeah. Um so yeah, and then Facebook said they will download files sent between Facebook will download files set between friends or family within the messenger conversations, its own servers, yep. where it can be analyzed, and website links sent in conversation are also hoovered up by the face by Facebook to try and learn more about your interests, tastes, and what you could be persuaded to buy. Right. Yeah, that's what they want, isn't it? So if anything, what you should delete right now is Facebook Messenger or keep it very basic, right. ABC, communicate more. Okay, <laughs> so let's wrap this up because I want to talk about more things, but let's just keep it real. So that, so everybody who's listening, let's under, let's just get this clear. Clear. You can still keep WhatsApp. You Until still, May 15th. You, until May 15th, you can keep it. The only things that's going to change when you have WhatsApp in this country, I'm talking about UK, yeah. is if you don't want things to be shared from WhatsApp to Facebook. That's the that's the situation. But basically, what we're talking about marketing, you'll get you will yeah. get marketing. Yeah. It, you will be influenced by marketing. If you look, if you search for a pair of trainers, or you message somebody and say or these trainers are hard, they really, hear really, it really, really, yeah. they will yeah, yeah. all of a sudden on adverts you. will pop up on your Facebook saying these crepes are hard. I've been bumped like that. I bought a pair of crepes just because of that. Yeah, because I searched so does it. Does it affect Alexa and them things? You know, Alexa, you see, Alexa, all of that and stuff. When you when you're talking in your yard, bro. So so re, all right, let, oh, okay. Let me make up. another on your make, smart TV trim. Let me make this because I I feel like there's not enough information about this. Or there's no one really talking about it for everybody to understand what's happening. Right? What I what I suggest you do is, if you're going to not have WhatsApp. Don't have Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, it's simple. So if you're going to go, oh, I'm, bop, I'm, I'm busting out from WhatsApp, don't, you can't be on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. It's, you're it's just gonna, the same thing. It's the same bumper clock thing, right? Two, if you do want to just escape and you want to get away from all this data sharing information and stuff like that, go to, talk, to, go to Signal, go to Telegram. The only difference is the problem is with those two services, they are not encrypted. There's no, no Telegram, you have to... Encrypt it. You have, you have to do have it yourself. You physically right. have to do like it. on WhatsApp, right. you have right. to, WhatsApp give you that option as well. So yeah. if you if you're still debating what you want to do WhatsApp right. until May fifteenth, at least encrypt put the put the encrypt feature on WhatsApp yeah. Settings, yeah. in your settings. Uh huh. While you're making the decision what you want to do May fifteenth, if right. you're going to Telegram, just make sure you put it on from the jump. Yeah. A uh, signal, I believe they do it automatically, but again, check the settings right. and do it. But like, you can still, but but the, uh, especially signal. They are more susceptible to 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 base be basically being hacked because yes. they're an independent company mm -hmm. and they Who's still have Telegram, a Telegram and Signal because they're just not governed. You know, basically, yeah, then they what's like happened? They're new, isn't it? They're new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's happened? Has been going on for years. Yeah, man. and that's no, the but thing. Telegram's been around for years, bro. Right. A I've friend of mine using, said he's been on it since 2012. I've I didn't know using, that. I've been using Telegram since. Let's talk us maybe 2019. That's crazy. I didn't know. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Long. So We're just WhatsApp is just the most but there are different advertised. Yeah, and the features on WhatsApp are good. Yeah, yeah. but Telegram apparently has got better features than WhatsApp. Right. Okay. So, so, oh, so, so again, we just uh, again do you do your research, go look into it, and then you can understand. But we uh, all I would suggest is if you're going to stay on WhatsApp, just just make just make sure that you know what you're doing, and at the same time, it's. It, 
I don't think it's going to change much. I think a lot of people will still stay on WhatsApp. Oh, a lot of people eventually they're just going to go back to it because I not think people care. I think people going to stay on WhatsApp it's because there's nothing really it. crazy. And I think do you know what I you don't get statuses you, like, before we move like on trim yeah, before so we move okay. on trim right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what gets me is when man go oh rare I'm gonna I'm not gonna do track and trace and I'm not gonna do this and I'm not thinking rare bro. Well, they track you anyway. Like, if they wanna, get if the government wanna find you and you've got a smartphone, forget about what apps you got. You get me? If you're doing criminal shit, don't have a phone. Basically, don't like. There's no. And if you don't want, there's part, no thin line with it. There's no thin line with it. They'll catch you. And the people, man, will go. Man will go. Oh, I'm not. I haven't got WhatsApp, so I'm not gonna get caught. Mm-hmm. Rum, they're they're the same guys on have Facebook you got, doing ha, the busted ha, challenge. Have you got a debit card? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, have you got a debit card with your name on it? Shut <laughs> up. Do, do you know what I mean, all right. Quickly, we quickly move on to Ashanti What's versus v- Ashanti versus Keisha Cole. Who won? We, we we got to a draw, didn't we? We got to a draw on the on the Facebook live that we did yesterday. It was ten all. It was ten all. Yeah. That's Why do you think that we got there though? Do you know what it is, Trip? You know what's weird, um, yep. Trim. Oh, sorry. I wanted to know what because we know kind of know what. Yeah, our we was views with were. each other. Pause yeah. with, when we but were doing. What is what yeah, as Drizzy on what, the outside? What was your views? Because we I didn't mean, really I, get I, you. At I, that. I I I'll be honest with you. I've watched all the verses live. Every single that one. one. Yeah. Every oh, single apart one, from that except one. that one. Okay. There's so many date changes, yeah. and for 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 you know the right you got, reasons, obviously. And it, and it came out on a Thursday, and it was on a Thursday. I just didn't, you know, and I saw Ki, I saw Kishiko dressed like she was entertaining at a strip club and all that. I was like, all right, really? Cool. Was the it outfit, that bad? The she, yeah, outfit if was, you went to a strip club, you wouldn't see someone you know just what, like that, outfit, bro. You know what? That In outfit, comparison to a shanty, looked like look like the belle of the ball. Shorts. Ashanti was looking like the belle of the ball. Tight ass shorts. Doesn't matter. She looked like it was her party. Of course, they're both both. fire. They, oh, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying. Keisha's baps. Like, dress, dress code wise. She had the baps. One looked like Real. she was going to work at the strip club. The other one looked like she was. So. The one had leather, full what? length leather. No, pants. do you know what it was? You know what it is, Keisha. Thing, the titty, the Keisha had a had a costume on that she was would have stood up in. Yeah, uh, I would have stood up. I stood up I when stood I up. looked at. Yeah. I stood up when I was looking so at. Is it. that why she was an hour and a half late? I heard. Well, I heard she was an hour and a half late because of technicals. But you're in your house. How can you be an hour and a half late in your Depends house? Depends where you live. <laughs> I heard that basically it was to do with like the the shot wasn't was blurry. This could be diva shit. Yeah, Don't yeah. get it twisted. This could be diva shit. But what I heard was the DJ was the yeah, DJ had an interview well. and he Sorry, was yeah. and the DJ said. When they went to, once they set up, it was it wasn't clear. It was not, bro. Look, look bro. Uh, right, so he hadn't listened to it. He ain't no, watched it. So sound was terrible. Cool. Don't watch it. Yeah, okay. that's fair. Yeah, but no, I can't say that either. No, I sound say, was terrible. I say like, watch it. I say, did you watch it all? No, that's so you can't so, say no, don't but, watch trim, it. This is what I do, and this is what okay. I do. Trim. I do this when I listen to verses. Yeah, I'll, if it's something that. I know is yeah. is is tearing, or yeah. I know it's popping. Yeah. I will watch the verses. When it was when I got five minutes into the Keisha Cole yeah. and Ashanti clash, yeah. I couldn't hear the fucking shit. I so I went that. hot ninety seven for the review. Yeah, yeah and I and I yeah, and I, like I, and I went hot ninety seven for the to review. What you said and you told me to do the same thing. Yeah. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to watch the whole thing. And I no, wa- that's I bless. Watched, I watched with, I think there must have been like 10 minutes. That's bless. Left and I, and, I, and, I, and I cut. But I watched it all and yeah, the sound was, the, the sound was, uh, Terrible, wasn't the, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't as bad enough for me to, I wasn't influenced by what they said because I started watching the Hot 97 interview, but it wasn't enough to influence me not to watch it. I can genuinely say it was right, but I think that, if you go in having, um, you, you know, thinking, yeah, yeah, then you're likely to switch off. But that's why and I, I thought watched, I'm not going to do that. That's why I haven't watched it yet because yeah. there's so much noise about it. Yeah. I'm going to watch it in my old time. It's like looping. There was so much talk about looping. Oh. I thought yeah, but, I'd watch it in my old I see, time. But you lot got time. I ain't got time to, I ain't got time to watch something that I know I can't get sound quality from. I think that's you lot. Yeah, but it's key. I'm First a, of all, it's yeah. Keisha Cole and yeah. Ashanti. I'll listen to yeah. their There's tunes. a lot to look at. I'll just, yeah, of course. No, but so don't, cool. get, don't get yeah, twisted. But then it's I, hard to actually review. I did reference. I referenced a lot of stuff. Right, right. I saw the... I saw when, Again, Hot 97 did a review. Yeah. And they said, right. Yeah, but this, how they, they said was it? They said OT Genesis went in there. Yeah, I heard that. I they heard said that. Yeah, she yeah. was late. How long they did said, you that for? So, so I did reference it. And at points, I went back to the actual footage to check it and just look. But I weren't sitting through it. I was sitting, and the thing about it is, bro, 
he he took a little dig at me. Pause because I was like, "Raw, did Ashanti and Keisha have Cole an have issue. a clash? No, they clashed. They clashed last night." He was like, "Bro, you know, I didn't I, I, because they changed the date a million times. Yeah. I had, bro, I had their first official flyer from December the twelfth, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. and I had I, I I couldn't wait for the motherfucker because that was meant to be the last one of the year. I couldn't and they had to wait, flip it bro. To E40 and too short. I actually said to the missus, babe, let's and let, I know we're in a bubble. Just get a couple of your brethren around here. Let's all just all have a bubble." Did you get that invite? Right? It's fucking disgusting, bro. I just said this is a church just to know that you know they could but have been. friends but fr- friends and have a bubble have a cup of tea Ashanti Keisha yeah. Cole Is just you? make it a, an event just make it a vibe so, so would you look socially distancing <laughs> okay in other <laughs> n- <laughs> right. in other news R.I.P. R.I.P. Larry King yeah yeah. Shout out to Larry King, one of R. the R. four Larry fathers King. of journalism, yeah. no, man. No, no, no. Impactful. Yeah. 63 he, he year sixty three year career. Career, yeah. yeah. Huge. 25 years on CNN. Mad. CNN, that's a big deal. Larry King Live. That's how I know him from, the yeah. Larry King Live show. show. Yeah. He interviewed everybody. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, and the thing about it is, it's crazy because motherfucker was old. He looked old when he was young. He, he, bro, he had a life. Yeah, he had a life. Yeah. He had a life, man. And, and he's what institution. Did he look like? I want to see what he looked like. When he was young. So I want to say, I want to say, rest in peace, Larry King. Rest in peace. Um, well what are we talking about? Laurie Harvey. I don't want to talk about this, bro. Right, let's not. But can I, can I, can I hit you with the bonus round question, please? Yeah, go for it. Is it just me, or do you find it weird? Now, I, I, I you know, you, you see, um, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups, and uh, people talk this and that, and rah rah rah, and the rare rare rare, and the ha ha ha. Do you find it, is it just me, or do you find it weird when a guy says he likes a girl to call him daddy during sex? That's crazy. Is it just me that yeah, finds yeah, that strange? That's an, that's an American thing. I don't know if it matters. You daddy. You don't, you've never, you've wife, never. Why if you don't like that thing, that daddy I thing. get it, I get it, and that's maybe being a mother or whatever, but what I am not going to, I'm not going to shun a female when I'm doing what I'm doing and she goes daddy because of how I've made her feel. If I've, if I, if she said daddy's because but, I was stroking. But, but you're, so, yeah, 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 because she's saying it like. Uh, so you're a buff, you're the, are you, so you're you're a buff zaddy. Say it again. You're a buff zaddy. I don't know what that term is, bro. No, zaddy's saying. a different thing. Zaddy's like the. He's a buff I mean? zaddy. It's, it's like, a, it's almost like the male version of MILF, basically. Instead of MILF, you've got zaddy. It's like the male version of the same MILF. Fine, it sounds stupid, but what I'm saying is, I don't like the word, I think it's So stupid. zaddy sounds stupid, but a girl calling you daddy, bro, you, you, you call I'm, not, I'm not telling you, this is what the kids are talking like, about. This is what the kids are talking about. When him, I'm hearing, when you, like, for example, call when you're zaddies, of, the, well, of the world and stuff like that, and you hear Latino girls get, oh, papi, oh, da 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 Yeah, shush, 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 wait, 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 no, it's not. That's different. No, it's not because that's where I heard the term. Right. So I was, all, it was Bro, okay to hear the, that. You were, so when I heard, the, you were the captain of the side making a lot of gestures. It makes me nervous. Yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm hearing Latin girls yeah. saying that, because like I, grew, I, went to, I went to school in Trinidad, so Puerto Rico is around the corner. Trinidad and Tobago. And Tobago. No, it's just Trinidad. I don't, I don't say, when you're from, Trin, when, you go to, when you go to those countries, you don't say Trinidad and Tobago. They do now. They don't. They do now. Trinidad and Tobago, bro. It's another island. They do say it. It's, it's, it's like a... saying Grenada and Karakou. No, you just say Grenada. Bro, no, 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 I've but never Trinidad, heard of Karakou. Karakou's it's, it's right title. next to it. it they say it's, they've made it official now. That's what I'm saying. I don't care what they said, bro. Like, when you talk <laughs> about, you say, all oh, right, Trini, you might say. <laughs> I told you his energy is different. Okay, bro, I don't the understand, facts, bro. Like, just he puts the facts, his cap man. to the okay, side. Man, the Trinidad, the man from Trinidad don't say, yeah, Trinidad. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Well, I went to Trinidad, what? Maybe the last time I went was like... You're from ago. Trinidad, bro. No, I'm not. I'm from Grenada. That's what I just said, bro. Don't take the piss. To, I, but I went to school. You told me school. you was from Grenada, bro. Don't I change the team, bro. changed in 10 years, What's though? making him say that it's... Ju- I I this guy he doesn't did. travel in here, he, No, he just doesn't listen. The furthest he flies is Peterborough, bro. Don't listen yeah. to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about most places where mosquitoes reside. Uh, don't uh, take uh, the piss, mate. Okay. He said, don't take... He said, where are you from? I said, Grenada. He said, you said you're from Trinidad. When? You just said, I thought you just said he was from Trinidad. You no. said he went to school Trinidad. I went to school there. See, yeah, the Maggie's hitting me. Okay, all right. Let's Does that even work? 
But it's not Trinidad. Listen, listen. listen. We're going off topic. Going off topic. The fast food podcast. podcast. This is a fast food podcast. Is there anything wrong with it? Season four, episode one. I'm having a blast <laughs> catching up with a man. Them. Listen, we got to get through this thing. Trim said, uh, "Yo, age of consent is UK in the UK sixteen. As yeah. a parent, what age do you allow your son or daughter to have a boyfriend or girlfriend?" And I was like. All right, all right, all right, Trim. With those kind of, that's a good question. Really good ask question. I said, let's put it out there. Let's see what people think. People yeah. feel it got some good engagement. I believe it got some good engagement. Um, so I kind of want you to kind of set the tone with this. We 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 got a good a good subject in terms of the feedback we got. Uh, I'll read out some But I really yeah. want you to kind of Take the reins with yeah, this yeah, situation yeah. bruv uh, As I said The age of consent is in the UK is 16 As a parent What age do you allow your son or daughter To have a boyfriend or girlfriend And Do you allow them to sleep over If you want me to kick off the thing Let me yeah, kick off the yeah, thing yeah, go on. I'm just I, 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 At the moment my son is 6 Yeah. So no He can't have anybody come over I do know at some point because he's a gargan and he's light skinned and he will be what, fe- what, gargan he, and a light skin. He, he will be fetishized what does because that mean? he's one of okay. those. He will be fetishized because yeah. it's it's he's mixed raced and yeah. there's a there's a fetish for that. Yeah. There's girls that like just mixed race. What is that? Girls that just like mixed raced guys as well. There's gonna be girls at my son's door asking, "Is Shia coming out?" And I'm gonna say to him, "Girl, you need to tell your mum." Uh, listen relax it ain't gonna happen it's not there's there's no levels there's levels to this thing mm-hmm. trying to give man rice and peas and flipping uh, and, snake and, and kidney if pie. I was you I would go do your homework before you asking me about where Shia is and what not and what not is that uh, what you're really gonna say Shia is going to be educated and then when he's about 22 he can date that's women. a bit hypocritical isn't it I don't even care what he says because um, I genuinely think I like, I respect respect to you as a father, and that's awesome. But I think that Shia, because of his intelligence, his intellect, is gonna be have baby mums. What? No, not baby mums. See, no, but no, once, no, bro, no, no. could you be your uncle and actually just bring them up the right way with me, bro? Like, I yeah, I'm you gonna to- be there. But what's the, the the problem that we have is because of his attributes and because of how he's gonna be slinging bro. and how no, charismatic. Shia, shut up a minute. Because of how charismatic he is. Girls are going to be naturally drawn to him. I'm, it's going to be not fetishized, but magnetized. Am I allowed to you know say them this? ones there. Am I allowed to say this? But you, well, you just got to let me finish talking. Trouble might, trouble might have to just. Del- I, I, you know, we'll edit. It. Tra- Shia's got. A I don't. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Okay. So we can't. Oh, that's not something what? you should really be talking about Why right now. Got, you shouldn't be talking about your. Massive drizzy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's A&B conversation. <laughs> That's me. Don't bring the D pause into it. <laughs> That's you, love. Know. Yeah. talking about there's a clear di- think- there's, there's a clear difference between raising daughters and sons. There's a... Mm, why? Because you treat them differently. Bro. Why? Because one's your daughter, one's your son. Why? Bro, because you don't want your daughter going out and getting walked, and but you will tell your son to go out and walk. But I thought you said he was going to get educated. Mm. And I he's doing this and 22 mm. and rare. So are you waiting for your daughter to be 42? I haven't got a daughter. No, when you do. Uh, bruv, don't push daughters on me. Well, I'm pushing. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't push it. At the end of the day, bruv, like, I, 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 no disrespect to dads, but I think having a daughter really humbles you, really can. Well, because some dads... Don't embrace it well. I feel you. Some dads don't pause. embrace it well, but for me and my pause. experience with, with, <laughs> with my with my experience of having a daughter <laughs> who I love dearly, we've had some ups and downs. We've had some, you know what I mean, yeah. roundabouts and all of that, and it's been crazy. Mm-hmm. And it's like, boy, I don't even know what to say when we like because we clash as well. We're so we're so similar, right? And uh, shouts out to Riz. She looks like and, you. Badly in it. She proper, proper She's a bit, but that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But, right. So let's get to, let's let's get to the fabric of this situation. You see, I just talk. The way I talk is just greasy. Let's get to the fabric of the situation. You have a daughter yeah. and you have a son. Yes, I do. Right. There is a clear difference, not intentionally how you treat them, but.
but there's a clear difference about what you want from the both of them because of their because of their gender. No. So, for example, you ain't gonna. You're, you can't tell me. Okay. You can't okay. tell me. Okay. The agenda was the same. The agenda was the same. The circumstances are different. All right. So the dating when they dated was different agendas or the same agenda. It was. I didn't really. I didn't. I wasn't really aware of um, Rihanna's dating activity. Okay. Let me uh, let me pose questions. So as I can, opposed to let me pose and questions. And I didn't really know Kyra's as well. He just let me pose questions. Yeah. Son and your daughter. Yeah. They come to you. They say, "Daddy, yeah, can this." particular person come and stay over first of all i know you're gonna ask who the person is yes second of all at what age do you give them the consent to even be in that situation or have that person over um i say just don't ask me how's that i say don't don't if if i'm being asked that question don't ask me that unfortunately for me i didn't grow up in the same household as my children right you get what i'm saying so just on a real one and I do regret that. I, that's a right. feeling okay, that I... Okay, okay. Um, we're unpacking. Being, we're unpacking. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, unpacking. I'm here, I'm here too. I keep yeah, it yeah, honest, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, we're unpacking. I bro, I like, 100% I, honest. I like this new trip, bro. Yeah, yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Bro, Dan, I swear. Dana. Bro, I have to be four hours long, bro. Drizzy, do not... Bro, I, if I see you, you start being it. disrespectful, you're going to... I'm me and you. Let the bread open up. I No, I, I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah. How does it like he point uh, his finger at me like no? But I want you to, I want to find out yeah, what you. I would. think I think I think the I think the fact is that you know and they are they're amazing kids at the end of the day so supportive and they've taught me so much. But in that um, in that dynamic, I was um, I wasn't in the household to be able to right. say or for them to even ask me. So there's different situations in terms of because you. You nested, you raised them, yeah. but you wasn't always with them twenty four seven because of the situations you yeah. had no. with their with the mums. But they would come and stay with me, yeah. And so, and you know, Rihanna might have a male friend right. that came to my yard, right. and they would stay outside, right, and wait for her or whatever. <laughs> but which is cool, yeah. Um, uh, Rihanna. Um, but then, but then, yeah. but then, but then, your son, yeah. Brings a girl around, and she he didn't says, "Do that either." But if he did, what but would if you he do? Did, I, I treated them the same, so it wasn't there wasn't any real difference right. in that sense. You get what I'm saying? I like the fact that because one day, for a real, I'll just keep it real short. Um, I went to go and see Kai at school one day, yeah, and I seen him. I must have been about maybe about I don't know, 250 yards away, mm-hmm. and I seen him, and he's standing on the wall. You know when you do that stand on the wall where your foot is on the wall and the other legs on on the floor or whatever yeah. and he's just chilling and all the mandem are around him and he's talking to the mandem and then girls are going all i could hear was this cairo 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 right. all girls doing that mm. and he's not even paying attention to them you know and he was just like yeah talking to them and then i was looking i was thinking yeah, that's, that's done. yeah. i was thinking watch him he's, he's just raising, raising him right yeah he's not even paying attention it's like He's rather just whatever. So anyway, so I've gone, I was like, you're right, son. Yeah, cool, dad. And it was like, it wasn't, he wasn't phased by the fact that he was getting female attention right. at all. Right. Um, I know Rihanna gets attention. She's striking. She's tall. She's busty. She's got big breasts, big bottom. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. One day we was walking down Church Road and we was going to the shops and she was like 15. And I hear beep, 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 beep. And I looked around and I was like, yeah, see? oh no, you yeah. did not do yeah, that. Yeah. You know, but she's six foot. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. When your kid is six foot tall, it's like it's a people thing. are not going to realise that she's a child. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I went, what, so, I went through that. Which was difficult I went that for me. Was... And I thought to myself, that was that was the realisation when I thought, you know, you better shake, you better shake this off quick because otherwise you're just going to be trying to kill everybody. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was that was a moment where I was just like, oh shit, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna have to work it out because otherwise it's gonna be long. Let's 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 read some of quickly read some of the interactions yeah, we've had on well. Facebook. Um uh Gemstone Melody said mm, Yep. Gemma. Well well uh-huh. I ended up letting my daughter have her boyfriend over. He was a lovely boy. I knew his mum. They both were in uni working, so to be honest, friends were Telling me horrific stories about their sneak about them sneaking out. 
laying about where they were going, etc. I'd rather have them under my roof than someone than by um roof than somebody else's. And I get that. See, this is the, these are situations where, again, parenting situations are different. The dynamics with you and the child are different. So we're definitely going to get variables with the way that you have a relationship with your child and the way that they, the way you treat them. I honestly think girls are different, treated different to boys. Um, because that's they can get pregnant. Yeah, and boys, men tend to, men tend to not look at, because you've been, a, because you're a man, yeah. you kind of know what the pattern of your son is going to be like. I re- one reason, one reason that I wanted a son so bad is because I wanted somebody to actually, to carry my name, but I wanted somebody to be able to relate to mm-hmm. where I know that if I had a girl, I'm not saying that I wouldn't have, but it's a different relationship with girls. Girls and girl, I would have just got mugged off by a daughter. My daughter, she just you, looked bruv. at me and you she would have mugged me right off, bruv. Like, yeah, yeah dad. Oh, sh- fuck it. Yeah. Um, I'm tight. Lauren, Lauren said, uh, Isla has three boyfriends, but they're only one visitor in her bed. It's white fluffy and goes by the name of Ted. Um, uh, uh, Chantel. Chantel, the thought of my son having a girlfriend when he's older scares me. I've been even more scared if I had a daughter. But staying over, stay over there. Yeah. Ah. My nephew's 35 at a push, please. (laughs) And thanks. That's my sister. Yeah. Um... Stephanie Gray, 21, my son had a g- girlfriend over to stay, now moved out, uh, ne- never at 16. That's ridiculous. And defo, not by, not my daughter. Cool. So everyone's got different kind of views. Go on, yeah, read them. I got some. So Mary Chris, good friend of mine, she says, 16 is good. I do, um, I do say you have to go through a few. Um, what is it? You do? I do have to go through a few to find who you truly like and won't um and not to be a walkover hold on what did she say here um i said would you allow sleepovers she said no laughing face mm-hmm. um so that means that obviously 16 years old isn't well for what for her son or her daughter mm-hmm. to have a boyfriend or girlfriend is cool but no stay over maria said that would be an a- that would be the age of consent preferably older than 16 but depends on the maturity of the child sleepovers is still a no-no mm-hmm. Um, Andrea said, I don't, um, I don't think most of us were emotionally mature enough to be having sex at 16. Most, uh, schools teach safe sex, etc., mm-hmm. but we aren't prepared when the moment takes us there. We, uh, we also need to be careful not to criminalize a natural thing by raising the age of consent to 18 mm-hmm. sleepovers, not at 16. No. Um, what I did. Oh, um, Katie said no sleepovers. Be open to talk to your child, um, so no age limit. Mm-hmm. Lacey's 22 and still no sleepovers. Yeah. Um, we've spoken about this, and when she's in a long committed um, relationship, uh, I mean the ring on finger or shared home, no sleepovers, yeah. etc. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, but I but I knew she had a boyfriend when she was a teenager. Her friends dismayed at the um, at she what. She didn't write that well, so I ain't even gonna say that part. But yeah. what I did mention was, out of all of the comments, even even um, including yours, I said, "Where's the dads?" Yeah, I said, "Where's the where's the dads? Why ain't yeah. no dads?" Because yeah. we know a lot of guys, yeah, yeah, and we know that they have children. So yeah. why didn't they actually speak yeah, yeah, up yeah, a lot about of women it? And I think it. um I think what it is is that a lot of men are. Uh, afraid I'm gonna put here afraid to talk about and be honest about their feelings when it comes to right. maybe not so much their sons but definitely their daughters. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep it going, keep it 100 and say how I feel and what the yeah. I think I think I think that I think again we're gonna move on, but I do think yeah. that according to your situation with your child and the way that they're raised and their maturity levels and the and the environment they grow up with. Yeah. It will it will vary with who they're dating. Like you can look at your son and daughter and go, "You're ready to date," mm-hmm. or you can look at your son and daughter and say, "No way, you're not even mature enough to bumble clock." Rare, rare, rare. 
Before like, you do that, go know? read. Go like, read. We really your book. don't know. No, but you know, but, but you're raising. No, you definitely. Like, I will know, like because yeah. I'm raising Shire a certain way. I'll know when he's ready to date. I'll know. Yeah. Because he, and and, and I'm guessing that Shire's gonna be in. He's gonna live under my roof for, for I. I don't want him to be under my roof as an adult, but I want him to be at least by 18. So that stage of he, that fundamental stage, he's yeah, with me. Golden age of that. that, that yeah. fun, and then he can go out if he wants to go to college or he wants to travel the world or he wants to do things. He's going to do things and he's going to have experiences. And it's not. I'm not even going to have a say on it. But what I do think is it's important to just know who your children are. And I get that's 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 where that's where the cross of it, from. isn't it? If you don't know your children, yeah, you're going to struggle, and yeah. they are going to be a deficit as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's quickly move on because we've not got long left and we're going to lick out a couple of things. Pause. Pause. Um, Drizzy Freckles, one's got a goal. I think that's what we were going to go to. One's got a goal. One got a goal. It's a movie. It's movie time. Let's go. Mm. All right, me. so the selection, selection was... Let me just get the El Selectiono up. Where is it? So, one's got a goal. One... Particular movie has to go. You know the vibes. We did that last season. We play a game. We have four categories. We have if if it's well, we don't have four categories. We have um, different What's scenarios, yeah, yeah. and we have a category like films or um, craps or songs, TV shows or artists, songs or artists. Yeah, it could be food. I want to try to get some food um, ones done this. We yeah, got, we got a lot of, of. We got a lot. I got a lot of. Sorry, um, a lot of interaction from this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the selection was, there's four movies, one of these films, if you select a movie, that means this film was never created, it's taken out of the Matrix, the yeah. ethos, it never was created. Yep. You got that? So we had E.T., Yep. we had The Goonies, mm -hmm. we had Star Wars A New Hope, uh -huh. and we had The Karate Kid. Is that what it's called, Star Wars A New Hope? Yeah. 1977? Yeah. yeah. With Luke Bombard. Bro. So yeah, to clarify, one one of these movies don't exist, what never happened, never came out. You basically have to choose. You have to make a decision on what movie you have to get rid of out of that four, that selection. I repeat, E.T., The Goonies, Star Wars, and The Karate Kid. Let's go around the room. Drizzy Freckles, who goes? Ooh. Thought about this, yo. Yeah, I thought about it. And I, I know what he's gonna say. Um, boy, but I'm not. I'm trying to go home at a certain time. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. I know. But it's this why did you take this, so long? That's rich. Anyway, um, oh man, I mean, it's 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 a difficult question I was because to give him a compliment. But yeah. all these all these movies individually, I feel like they have created. Kids, Trebler, what's got what's got to go? He's taking ages. I oh, see Trebler. Bro, why good. is Trebler do? Why is Trebler doing yeah, stuff? Okay, loves that. Why is Trebler so doing this to me? Yeah. He's asking me to hurry up yeah. to make a decision. God. He starts doing these, yeah, and he's just, like, "Why are you doing? Why oh are you doing this? my god!" Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh because, my god. Bro, yeah, yeah. because, bro, because you're taking five minutes to answer the because question. Because it's a hard no. fucking question, and, bro. And, it's, and there's a situation where if we go quiet, people kind of. You've oh. had weeks. <laughs> He's had weeks, so it's not five minutes. Oh, no, he has actually. We why? No, One's got to go. Has been what? What's the date? A couple on. days. All right. If 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 we're doing that, you have. No, wait, wait, Drizzy. Him. Trebler okay. said Goonies, and I got to address He's this. Out. I got to address this. Trebs, I love you to death. Shout out to my cameraman Trebler. This this guy is He's unbelievable. Done. But he just he made a massive mistake by telling me that and mentioning that in my ear. Goonies. Now Goonies, yeah. That's it so was dope. one of the most incredible movies, children's movies, kid movies, family movies ever to even. Uh, this is it's peak. It's so okay. peak. No, I was gonna say that if if Treb's saying Goonies, it's why Treb's, don't we ask him why? No, no, Treb's. I know why because Treb's generation, bro. That's generational. Okay, that's definitely a generational. Yeah, thing. but they all came out yeah. around the same time. He likes sci fi's. Oh, okay. Oh, he likes sci fi's. Okay, and Karate Kid. Oh, that's just a classic. What, so Goonies is not a classic? It is, but Mr. Miyagi, man. Okay, see. Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. all right, cool. I, I, I'm, gonna go, I'm coming back to Drizzy because. 
Because, yet again, we went somewhere else and I still mm. haven't got an answer for the motherfucker. Right, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to do this based on the fact that there's two sci fi related movies on there. So I'm just going to. They're scrap not. There's one no two. Them. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to. That's going to make my choice easier. So I'm just going to say E.T. So we got a lot of E.T.s, you know? Yeah. I, but that's because. There's a lot of people that said E.T. All right, so are you asking myself? I'm that? asking you. All right, so I would have said E.T. as well. Wow. And the reason why I said E.T. is because. It was a it was a well rounded movie, but at the same time, there was parts of it that were sad, man, and I didn't like that bit. That bit was a lot for me, and it made me sometimes I didn't want to watch it because of the sadness. Okay, you get what I'm saying? At the age that I was, it was pivotal. I was at the age where it was like, Ooh, why do I feel like this? I don't want to feel like this over some 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 little brown little skinny thing. You get what I'm saying skinny with the little thing. pot belly. I'm struggling right now. Why does so why much. does it matter? Seeing the girl's face, seeing how Elliot was struggling as well. I did not want that feeling. Whereas Goonies is a mad thing. Karate Kids got that feel good thing. Star Wars was just madness and and everything, even though it was damn long. But yeah, ET ET was a bit emotional for me. So that was okay. the reason why I would choose ET. I did. That's good. That, do you know what? That's weird. You said that because yeah. it's quite it interesting. It hurt me. The emotion. I've never heard someone actually say I didn't like. I, the emotion got to me. And yeah, it isn't quite it an did. emotional. It is a quite an emotional movie in terms Especially of that, dramatic, that age. dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. Was drama yeah. because of when he when he goes in, he's falling ill, and you don't know is he gonna live? Isn't he gonna mm. live? Am I actually gonna watch this alien die? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna have a meltdown at seven years old. In eight in 1983, ET sur- surpassed Star Wars as the highest grossing film of all time, and by the end of the theatrical run. It had grossed thirty five, three hundred and fifty nine million dollars in North America alone, and alone, and six hundred and nineteen million worldwide. Box office Mojo estimates that the film sold more than twenty one hundred and twenty one million tickets in the US in its initial run, and it was huge. Pause. Um, and they and obviously it was groundbreaking because they made the bike go in the air. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, Michael Jackson was all over it. So what you take? What did you say? You said ET. I said ET just based on this. Trebler says Treb- sci-fi. Trebler films. said Goonies and yeah. Trebler might not get a lift home. Um, Drizzy, um, Drizzy said ET. Trim, Trim. ET. ET. I I go with Star Wars. Ooh. Star and? Wars. Star Wars. Just. Is not a movie that interests me, and it's crazy because I'm a movie guy. I like movies, so I've actually watched pretty much all of them. I don't think I've watched the new generation. I think I watched the first episode of the new one, where you know, where the where Donnie is a is a stormtrooper, the Black Brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that one's good. Yeah, I watched the first one of that, but I haven't watched any oh. after that. Uh, so it's a. I have a weird relationship with Star Wars. I don't. It's not. See with Goonies, Goonies. It takes long. Go- that's what, why. You know what with Goonies? Goonies was an adventure, mm. and I, I'm an adventure guy. Like I like adventure, and obviously sloth, um, and uh, hey uh, um, you guys. and it just had like signature moments with words and that baby roof. Remember baby roof? <laughs> you know what was there? And um, and uh, ch- the chuckle shuffle and. It's like the iconic moments. It's just that, that that the world that they were living in. It was just so. When I was young, I was mesmerized by it, and it was just one of those kind of movies. And again, Karate Kid. It's just like it's so ill. Karate Kid is it one of the it, like I can remember when Karate Kid came out, where I was, what I was doing, and it just. You I didn't can, move from the TV. I can go there now. I can I sit too close. I can reference it now, and it's every time I reference it, I can go home and watch Karate Kid One easily. It's easy, like. The, the, the soundtrack the music yeah, the bond, everything yeah, about it it's was cr- so it's, dope. it's crazy and then obviously E.T. was one of those movies was just I- iconic E.T. was an iconic movie you might not have you may not have related to it or you might have felt emotional yeah, emotionally driven behind it but yeah, yeah. you that did, that never took away the way the, the how massive the movie was it was epic like it was like it was a massive it made a statement Steven Spielberg in his in his fucking element yeah in his bag bro so yeah but it's but again we do this one's got a go thing because i think he just brings up different opinions you know, it's it's funny though, you probably don't get an et without star wars 
Luke, Lucas. You probably don't get an ET if there's no Star Wars. It's pretty, bro. It's every possibility, you might be right. No, I, I believe it's spot on. I reckon he's spot on with that one. Every possibility, uh, all right. We're going to wrap this up in a minute, but I just want Drizzy to go through the track list of our playlist. Oh, yeah, man. What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so last... So, we actually... Did, we've actually... We're going to do this monthly, right? We're going to hit you guys with uh, a playlist of, like, 20 or plus tracks yeah. that we're feeling for that month. Yeah. So, we did a... We, we actually did a 2020 wrap-up, actually. Um, we did a 2020. It's called the Fast Food Podcast 2020 Vision. Yeah. And it's got... 47 songs, two hours and 40 minutes. So you just press play. And you keep it moving. good to go. Yeah, man. Um, so we got the January one up. Hey, have we got that, is that up on the site and everything? Uh, it's, up on it's, up on, it's on Spotify. Yeah, and it's up on Facebook. Uh, yes, it is on Facebook. Yes, okay. so if you're on the Facebook group, you would have seen the link to the, the Fast Food Podcast 2020. And if you haven't seen the link, go to the link on our page, Fast Food exactly. Podcast. And if you're just moving around the kitchen, no one's going anywhere. Everyone's quarantining. Put the playlist on. Wash the dishes. Wash your batty, you know what I mean? Do your thing. at the same time, obviously, but yeah. yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've got the January one up called uh, January 2021, obviously, and it's called The Reset. I'm going to try and I'm gonna try and theme them every month. Right. Um, and this one's got 22 tracks, hour 60 minutes, and you, it's got tracks ranging from uh, Wizkid to Getz to 50 Cent to Nas to DS, uh, to Division, sorry, to uh-huh. Jasmine Sullivan, who's... Got arguably one of the best bodies of work. I heard, I heard J- Jasmine Sullivan album. Oh, um, D double E, right? That, Gigs, yeah. yeah. Kanye, um, Fat Joe's on there. Uh, I said Skinny Fabulous already, yeah. So, like, check it out, man. So, it's called the Fast Food Podcast. Follow the page, follow the, the profile on, on uh, Spotify. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, man, keep in tune. Like, check out the playlist. Let us give us your feedback. We'll put it up on the Facebook group as well, so you can just get the link directly. And uh, yeah, just give us your feedback. And if there's tracks you want us to check out that you think might should make uh, the, the February playlist, then let us know. But like I said, we're gonna do a monthly uh, a monthly playlist just to let you know the vibes, man. Good. So yeah, make sure you go check that out. As Drizzy said, um, it's available on our Fast Food Podcast page. Click it, vibe. It's our favorite tunes. Yep. Um, yeah, man, it's, we'd enjoy that. Trim, you're looking at me. I'm not. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up there, you know, today. Um, oh, it's good to see you guys, man. I had a blast. Always. Good to see you guys. This is episode one of the Fast Food Podcast, and I oh, want to no. thank everybody. Like, just, just thank you for the uh, support that we got over the time that we haven't had any podcasts out there. Um, Big up, we will be back in a fortnight time, so, and we will let you know when those out. And everybody asking me for links, I'm going to give you the link initially and then I'm not going to send it no more because I ain't got time to beat out links. Pause. All I wanted you to do is as soon as you get the link, if it's iTunes you listen to the most, Spotify you listen to the most, or SoundCloud, please subscribe or follow so that once episodes come out, new episodes come out, you get them and you'll get an update on your phone yeah, or you'll notification, get a notification. So you get the notification. Um, I think what would be good as well is yeah. that if we do have, if we've got those soul um, hardcore supporters, I just want to know, it might be a bit intrusive. Is it intrusive? I don't know, but we just want to know how many people did you send it out to? Yeah, like share, that. like... So if you're supporting, yeah. we just want to know who's who, who's the real one. Yeah, who's get the real to... ones for us? Who's new? Exactly. Let us know we, you're new. We we're going to interact man. with you, shout yep. you out. Um, we're gonna we're actually going to make it more interactive as well. Get so in that, touch with us. Get in yeah, touch with us. We have, we have an email, fast food, uh, fastfoodpodcast at gmail.com. That's the fast... That's fastfoodpodcast at gmail.com. Reach out to us, ask questions. If you've got a problem, if you've got something you want to talk to us about or you want something, uh, or there's a subject you want us to raise Uh on the podcast, feel free to get at us. Again, we're on Instagram at Fast Food Podcast. And yeah. The Facebook page as well. Yeah, man. yeah, but we'll or be putting, if you know us personally, or you can you can hit us on our personal pages and we can direct it whatever. Exactly. But as long as as long as you guys are interacting and because we're trying to do this, we want to do this for you guys. Yeah, no man. Like but you know what? It feels good to just be back in the back back in the hot seat, just doing this thing. Yeah. Trebler will be getting episodes out to you guys on the on the um, on the YouTube. on the YouTube channel. They'll come out maybe two or three days after the audio comes out. So if you're listening, you should obviously will wait a couple of days if you want to watch the visuals. But again, just stay in tune. 
stay subscribed and then you'll get updates as and when um, we're going to wrap this up lads thank More you for yeah. thanks for coming man thanks thank for coming you, thank pause you. Um, I want to shout out everybody shout out to my boy Drizzy Freckles shout out to Trebler shout out to Trim Trimmer who's got the keys to my bimmer shout out to family and those who are struggling at this time yeah. find ways of keeping your mental state intact go for a walk go do some sort of exercise exercise in your yard go knit something go read a yeah. book do things that you haven't done before. Try and find new hobbies. Try and keep your mind stimulated while we're on these in these in this time of uh, unforeseen occurrences and this pandemic that we're trying to get through. And I hopefully we'll see each other after the summer and we can vibe, sip a juice, party. And well, I can't do anything because I'm married. But you know what I mean. I'm sure there's a lot of people that want sex at the moment and can't get it like that. But yeah, More um, importantly, and also stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah, man. Use a condom. And uh, yeah, this is a fast food cup. This is the fast food podcast. I go by the name of Morgan Heights. Trim Trimmer. He's got the keys to the bummer club. Bim, it's your boy Drizzy. 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 Yeah, this is Morgan Heights. This is Trim Trimmer. It's your boy Tristan Freckles. Thanks for checking out the Fast and Podcast YouTube channel. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and yeah. hit the notification button so yeah. you know when the new videos are dropping. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>